Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. I am available for personals. That information is in the description. Okay, let's get some messages from your person. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves. Because I am. Okay. Our destiny is calling. Preparations are underway to take the next step. My, your children need to come first. Trust that they are a part of our plan. And I feel like for you, Virgo, you feel like your inner child needs to come first right now. And that's a good thing. That's growth. How this person feels towards you, I care about you even when I act like I don't. I'm hiding my true feelings because I feel vulnerable. Okay, so that's too many. Obstacles and blocks between you two. I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good. Just advice. We need to wait for divine timing. Time is healing our wounds and creating the perfect conditions for our reunion. I feel like divine feminine Regardless of what energy you resonate with, again, you're more focused on yourself. Two card, um, do I want all three of these? Yeah, they came out together. And I see 111, 711. What? Okay. We are one, don't let fear get in the way of this truth. I'm seeing synchronicities like your name or 1111 and working out what they mean. I long to sweep you off your feet and shower you with my love. Bird. Put that on the side so I can take a picture of that. Mirrors. Our inner guidance is clear, but our ego is resisting it. As I split the deck, we have dating, whining, dining, and romance. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, don't use this deck. No, we are switching our decks. Hold up. And then I'll get into some tarot. I like this deck. I wish I would have put it to work more. Okay. Gestures. You may be asked to help someone out or you may need a hand. Give deserved praise to others and you will receive recognition too. Mutual energy. Okay. Roll the dice. 
time to put yourself out there. You are hiding your talents, and it's time to take a risk and step into the spotlight now. No! <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> Great match. You are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you. Don't give up. You may need to grow your own business to be truly happy. And I feel like people see that. And Virg, you got a lot of people feeling vulnerable out there. Interesting. Nice. I see you. I see you, boo. Power position. You are being promoted or called to lead. Time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> 555 on the recorder. Okay. Best approach. Advice. In the flow, the universe is sending you help. Tap into your inner power and go deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to have. Okay, that's better. Wait. I'm like, wait a minute, why my spread don't make sense? Okay. <laughs> I got my nerves. Why my spread don't make sense? Wait a minute. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. In the outcome, Virgi, I see you. We have investment. Invest in your education and make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risk, but save something to fall back on. They didn't think you could do it. <laughs> Wisdom, you are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Use your, use your wisdom and experience. All right, let's get some tarot on this, man. Let's get let's let's get let's get Queen of Pentacles upright. Let's get it. Let's go. As I split the deck, we have the death card upright, Scorpio energy. I heard balancing the books. Okay. So with the death card here, it fell out and I shuffled. It gets real. <laughs> Oh my goodness so with the death card here you're going through a transformation you're like you know what we're on the other side of the dang on solar eclipse we ain't doing this we ain't doing this nope not doing it you're blessing people wishing them well saying what you need to say and you're going on you're going on okay we have the eight of pentacles upright so you got your head down, you're working. You could just be in a space of gratitude, too. There's that. Okay. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords reverse. You're healing. It's like when you decide not to follow others, of course you're gonna get attacked. If you if you try and live right, of course you're gonna get attacked. <clears throat> mm, how you feel right now, Virg? Seven of Pentacles. You just want to grow. You planted some seeds, and you're just ready for them to grow. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. We have the Queen of Wands upright. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Somebody feels like you're the best match for them because you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. 
You're like enough's enough. Had enough. The will of fortune upgrade. Somebody sees you as the one. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Like, I see you, boo. We have the Knight of Wands reverse and the obstacles and blocks. Somebody feels you pulling away, like, yeah, because you just rather stand in your power. You just over it. That's a true Virgo for you. And we have the Queen of Swords upright. It's like you're cutting people off gracefully, you know, you pray for them, you send them love, you just go on, because you got to live, like, <laughs> you just go on. Wow, we have the five of swords reverse. You're more so focused on the divine. You're more so focused on your spirituality. Some of you could be having sleepless nights or insomnia. Like, that needs to be addressed, Virgo. As I split the deck, we have the Two of Cups upright. Somebody feels like you're their twin, their soulmate. Okay, we have the Three of Cups reverse. So that could be talking about not getting invited anywhere. Like, I don't know, somebody's the black sheep. And like, <laughs> like, okay. The moon card, Cancer Energy. So, in the full upright, you're more focused on your intuition with the moon card here. I kind of don't really see anything negative here um, because it's, emo it's important that you're emotionally intelligent and fit for the position that you're going to be in. And we have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You're pretty much focused on your passions and the things you love to do. You're working on yourself. Oh, wow. As I split the deck, we have Twin Flame Union as well. Okay, Virg, so you moved on from something that's ended. You got your head down, you're working. And we have rekindled, clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. Marriage. Even though, like, you're nurturing your inner child, like, we have marriage and wedding bells are ringing. Interesting word. Okay, and how this person feels towards you is psychic connection. Your communication goes beyond mere words. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands. It's very fiery over here. The lady in this red dress, like, what's going on? Wow. All these cards. That's too many. Ooh. 
some get some of this ASMR, boo. Get some of this ASMR. Obstacles and blocks, divine timing, a serendipitous event. Friendly support, fairies, guides, and friends give you aid. We have divine timing out here twice with psychic connection. Okay, we have reaching out in the outcome. And we have twin flame on the bottom of the deck. Expect a call or text from your person of interest. And on the bottom, we have twin flame recognition. Know this soulmate. Wait, know this soul that mirrors your own. Oh my God. It's like, I'm playing. <laughs> you know this soul that mirrors your own. Twin flame recognition. Interesting. Let's get you an oracle card. I think we should get you an oracle card. Okay, we have Palm, Destiny. And on the bottom, we have Lightning, Disruption. Okay. Okay, additional meanings. An urge to pursue a calling. Significant fated events are occurring, discovering your purpose, enhanced spiritual guidance or gifts. I see you, Virgo. It's definitely divine timing. Like, don't question it. Everything in divine timing. Well, Virgo, this is all I have for you. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.